This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Lauren Pastrana. An arson investigation is underway in the city of Miami after a car is torched in the middle of the night. This happened outside a home at 2475 Northwest 35th Street. In surveillance video, you can see a man walk up to a car and moments later, the car erupts in a ball of fire. The man also catches on fire as he tries to run away. Firefighters later arrived and put out the flames. Another vehicle nearby was also damaged. The family who lives at the home tells us they have no idea why they would be targeted. A man accused of trying to sexually assault a 68 year old woman inside a Miami Beach condo elevator is under arrest. Police say 23 year old Martin Bowden approached the woman and attempted to pull up her skirt and shirt inside an elevator. When the elevator door opened, the woman ran out screaming for help. Bowden is charged with burglary with battery. He told police he followed the woman for her phone. The state of Florida has stepped in to shut down a popular grocery store for good. It's ordered Penn Dutch and Margate to close immediately. The announcement comes one day after the company announced it would hold a going out of business sale there, then shut down. The state says Penn Dutch endangered public health by possibly selling food contaminated with listeria bacteria. The company has said it will not reopen its Hollywood store, which has been closed for some time. The man regarded as the father of modern day Miami has passed away. Maurice Ferre died Thursday at the age of 84. Surrounded by family, he was battling cancer for the last two years. Ferre was born in Puerto Rico and served as a state legislator, Miami City Commissioner, and as Miami's mayor during the 1970s and 80s. Maurice Ferre is survived by his wife Mercedes. He had six children, one of whom died in a 1995 plane crash, as well as several grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Now, CBS4 weather. Happy Friday, South Florida. The weekend is about to start, but it's going to be a windy one and a showery one as well. So for Friday, this afternoon, the temperature topping 86 degrees. That's not too bad, but carry the raincoats with you because we will have passing showers and those showers will be increasing and becoming more numerous throughout later today and also by tomorrow. Winds today out of the northeast and turning more out of the east as the day goes on on up to 25 miles per hour, but wind gusts could go as high as 30. Now on to the tropics. We are tracking Category 2 Hurricane Jerry. It is a indirect threat for the northern Leeward Islands, so the actual center is going to pass to the north of the Virgin Islands and the northern Leeward Islands today, but it's still going to bring heavy rainfall and, of course, high winds. Those tropical storm force winds extend 80 miles out from the center, while the hurricane force winds extend 25 miles out from the center. Now, Jerry's going to run into some stronger wind shear through the weekend. That's why on the forecast code, notice that it becomes a category one. So it downgrades to that and possibly stay in a category one, but Bermuda right in the middle of this forecast cone. So Bermuda definitely has to keep a close watch as Jerry is expected to turn towards the north and northeast direction and head towards uh, the area of Bermuda may be making landfall there or at least passing very close to the island. Back here at home, small craft advisory will remain in effect at least through Sunday evening as the seas will remain choppy, especially today and tomorrow. Uh, by the way, the seas are up to eight feet and those wind gusts, as I mentioned, could go as high as 30 miles per hour. Beachgoers, the rip of currents or the rip current risk is high for today. That's also going to last through the weekend. Not really a beach day because we're also going to be dealing with those on and off showers and they're going to first hit the coast since they're moving along that east northeast breeze. So here we go for the weekend. Just be prepared for windy and showery conditions by Monday. Some leftover showers, but more sunshine does return starting on Sunday, but especially by next week. That's going to bring back the temperatures close to the 90s. Jennifer, thank you. That's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune in to CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.